right now. You are here to serve me. No other person but me. Okay? You are here to serve me. I am your Lord. I am your God. You are here to serve no other person but me. Okay? I will explain. Maybe you will understand. Everything is going to be okay. Yeah. I will love to explain to you. Just give me the chance I am sorry Forgive me I don't even know What is going on How do I get her to forgive me? I don't know She, she hates my guts No She doesn't hate you If she did She wouldn't even care for you I feel so bad. Is there hope for me? Can she ever turn around to love me? What? Oh, you're heading out? Yes, I'm going to the market. Oh, okay. Oh, sweetheart. I'll ask the driver to drop you off. No, sir. I'll go with the bus as usual. Thank you, my lord. Uh. Did, did you did you just hear her? Did did you? You see how she referred to me as her lord. I'm my husband. This. Ah. How could I? How could I have treated her so badly? Just take a look at her. So innocent. A girl full of good. Yet I made her life so miserable. That you did. I'm glad you're beginning to see her now. Max, you should be thankful that after the way you treated her, there's still good in her. I'm so grateful to God for her. But... Uh, am I... Am I losing her? Am I? I do not have those answers. But one thing you should know is this. Forgiveness is found on the bended knees of repentance. You should walk for it. I'll do anything. Everything to get her to love me. I hope I've not broken her beyond repairs. I'll, I'll do anything for her to love me. Can you please talk to her, please? As you can see, I am not doing badly at all. And, uh, are you? <laughs> oh, well, I'm um, good, as you can see. Have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see? Oh, hello, hello. I'm fine. I'm fine. You see, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm doing good. Uh, now I can do some things myself. I don't need to bother my wife anymore. It's a, it's a good thing you're here to check on me. Uh, but anyway, I know the main reason you're here. To see if I'm still married. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the jobs. Come on, it, Max. That's not it. Okay, I am also here to check on you and know how you're faring. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. You see, not too many people give a damn about me since I found myself in this condition. You're a true friend and a brother. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, the truth is, um, 
It's institutions like this you actually know those who care about you. Exactly. You can say that again. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome, Alex. I said thank you. Okay. You know, uh, Max, I, I'm actually happy to see that things are working out between you two. Things are not going well. And it is all my fault. I wish I treated her better. Yeah, you should have. You know, she... She is gold, you know? Yes, she is. Alex, I... I want my marriage to work. I just don't know how to go about it. I don't know. Um, have you, have you tried apologizing to her? I mean, have you apologized to her for all that you put her through? Oh, uh, well, not outrightly, anyway. Well, Max, the truth is, um, first and first, you should apologize to her. You should start by apologizing, I mean, for all the pains, anguish, sorrow, bitterness you put her through. Then you find a way to make her see and understand that she means the world to you. You understand, right? Yes, I do. Uh, I regret everything I did to her. I'm just finding a way to make her understand how deeply I regret everything. I will do everything Everything to save my marriage. Everything. You know, I... I just wish you well. I wish you succeed. Um, at this point, Max, I... I beg to leave. Oh, no. Alex, you just came in. Where are you rushing to? No, I... I just got a text right now, so I have a meeting to attend to. I, I will check up on you. Later on in the day. Oh, I'll check on you, okay? Alex. Can you please help me talk to my wife? Forgive me, because I know this whole thing's not easy for you. I know you're mad at me, I'm sorry. Forgive me. If you let me, I will explain. Maybe you will understand Everything is gonna be okay Happy birthday, Kambili. Ah. I, I forgot it's my birthday. I didn't even know. I guess you got my gift. Jesus. God. Yes. 
this is this is this is very surprising thank you so much i've never received a birthday gift since i was born i've never celebrated birthday i am glad i am the first person to celebrate you this means so much to me thank you so much thank you um Kimberly, i i i know i don't stand a chance with you okay hell i, I I don't even know why I thought I should. I, 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 you know what? I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. It's okay. Um, I don't understand. What are you talking about? I can't believe it breaks my heart to say this, okay? It's your husband. He wants to make amend. <sighs> hmm. Well, wow, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much. As for Max, I hold nothing against him. And I don't just want him again. I can't wait to leave you. Listen, you know everything he put me through. How can you be begging on his behalf? I don't want to, okay? I don't, I swear. He begged me to. Okay, I need to be selfish of me not to. All right, in as much as I want you for myself, but come on, you're someone's wife, okay? I don't have time for this type of discussion. I'm busy, I'll talk to you later. Come, you know what? You should hear him out. Okay, let's just hear him out, know what he has to say. I said I'll talk to you later, but... Happy birthday, wifey! <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Ah, you, you bought gifts for me. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. How did you know it's my birthday? Well, Max told me. <laughs> Happy birthday, wifey. I'm very thankful and grateful for all you do for me. Happy birthday. And how did you know it's my birthday? Oh, <laughs> Alex told me. Uh. Mm -hmm. And uh, for your special day, uh, I got you some stuff. Yes, you did. Like oh, you did? Yes, yes, yes. did. All for you, for your special day. Because you're a special person. <laughs> Go ahead. Open them. I do not want them. Uh, maybe you at least open them hmm? and see what's inside. I don't want to see what is inside. I'm not interested. Okay. Uh, maybe you do that later. Right, uh, <laughs> uh, sweetheart, my beautiful wife. I'm glad to announce to you that I made a dinner reservation for the both of us. It's going to be splendid. You like it? I'm not interested. I don't want to have the clothes, and I also do not want to go for the dinner. Thank you, my lord. Please permit me, I have something doing inside. House chores. Thank you, Mary. Will she ever forgive me? Oh. I'm sorry, Max. But not to worry. I'll talk to her. I'm sure I'll, she's just upset. I'll fix it. Oh, you know, why not sit I'm down? Fine, I'm fine, I'm good. Is 
I know. I came a bit earlier for appointment so I could see you. How are you? Not great. You've been avoiding my calls. If you're speaking them, why if I may ask? You asked me to stay with my abusive husband. Come on, Kimberly. That is the right thing to do. Okay? Uh, although I, I couldn't sleep. I mean, I've been thinking about you all day, all night. I, I couldn't get you off my head. I get it. I want you to understand something. Bad people don't change. That's who they are. Max is never going to change. I know you think he might change someday and start treating me the way I'm meant to be treated. But no, he's not going to change. I don't have any sweet memories of us together. He has never treated me right. From our honeymoon till date, it's been horrible experience. Yes, I don't think we, we have any chance of being together. Because I'm not happy. You don't say that. I mean, you don't know that for sure. Since you believe we still have a chance of being together, why are you here? Because I love you. Okay, look, I, I can't control it anymore, okay? I love you. I can't get you off my head. And what am I supposed to say to that? Nothing. Okay, can really absolutely nothing. You know, I shouldn't have said that. I mean, I shouldn't have put you in that spot. I, 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 I think I have to go right now, okay? I will just cancel for some other time, all right? Um, wait, <coughs> Alex. Don't go. Please, come and have a seat and wait for him. Please. Are you sure? I'm certain. I know you mad at me, I'm sorry, forgive me, cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you, I know you mad at me, I'm sorry, forgive me. So why are you smiling sheepishly as if you won the truth? Let me get you some food. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Oh. Alex. <laughs> hey, Max. I, I actually came early for appointment, and um, your wife here has been keeping me company. <laughs> 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 Alex, are you sure you're here for that appointment or you came to see my wife? No, no, no I, I came for the appointment. Uh, as a matter of fact, we were just, um, you know, Having conversations um, while I wait. Nothing more, nothing. I see. Uh, you see, I am actually jealous. You could make my wife laugh. Um, well, Max, that's, that's the part you don't know about me. <laughs> I'm actually a funny guy, you know? <laughs> right? Very interesting. <laughs> you can say that again. Alex! Leave my house now. But I just no. leave. Henceforth, business will not hold in my house. Rather, 
in my office. So get out! Sorry. Hey! I have never seen you laugh. You have never given me a reason to laugh, my lord. I know you mad at me, I'm sorry. Forgive me, forgive me. Cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you. I know you mad at me, I'm sorry. Oh, welcome, man. Can be here. Let me get you. Some. No, no, no. How are you? You really look good. You look great. I like your I like your outfit. It's beautiful. Can I came to see you. Can Can we sit? Okay. Never mind. I am sorry. I did nothing to help you. It's my bad. It's my wrong. And I'm very, very sorry. Please forgive me. Max called crying. He said I should come beg you to please forgive him. My child. Forgive him. Please. Why did you treat me this way? Auntie, I asked you if my aunt sold me to your son. But you looked me in the eyes and lied to me. My love. You watched me sign the contract, knowing fully well what I was going into. How could you all be so cruel, so heartless, so inhumane? You all did that on purpose. It was an intentional act. Can't believe please. We are sorry. I apologize on behalf of Max and I. Please forgive us. We, he is truly sorry. He's a changed man. Yeah, he should be. No matter what, he's your husband. Mm. It's okay if he acts as if he's a changed man because his life seems to be on my palm now. I am the one taking care of him. No, but that's the truth. We are genuinely sorry. We all are sorry. Please forgive us. No, we have wronged you in every way. And in every way. Please forgive me. Forgive Your my son. apology means nothing to me. His apology means nothing to me, auntie. Yes. It's even funny for him to think I would listen to you or accept your apology. Because as a mother, I expected you to do more. I to you put me into all of this. I if I were your child, you wouldn't have done this to me. Stop apologizing. I will never accept your apology. Excuse me, ma. Let me get you your son. I have something I'm doing. I'll make it to I know you mad at me, I'm sorry, forgive me, cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you. It's all your fault. Really? Yes. Why? Why didn't you stop me from maltreating her the way I did? It's your fault, mom! It's your fault! I tried to. I did. But you wouldn't let me. With your high-handedness, your wicked heart, you wouldn't let me. You weren't firm enough. You should have stood your ground! Max, you're an adult. You are a grown man. You should know the wrong from the right. You should know the right things to do at every point in time in your life. You didn't try to stop me. I did. And you never listened to me. Mother, 
You are my mother. You should have corrected me. You should have scolded me! Max, you made this mess. You put yourself in this mess. Fix it yourself. Don't go looking for a leeway to escape. Face it head on and take responsibility. Would you have listened to me if I tried with your wicked heart? You're looking for a leeway to escape responsibility. I did all of that. I tried to turn you into a good man. As a child, I tried to correct your bad attitude. But you were too stiff-necked to listen to me. Now you have found yourself in this mess. Take responsibility. The earlier you accept that responsibility, that it is your fault, your entire fault, that this happened, the better for you. In fact, the best for you, the better for everyone. Excuse me. Everybody has wickedness in you. I know you mad at me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. Cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you. I know you mad at me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. If you let me, I will explain. Maybe you will understand. Everything is gonna be okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would love to explain to you. I'll make you do Just the give me the chance. I am sorry. If you forgive me. I've haunted you so much. So that. You flinch when I try to touch you. I understand it's not your fault. Sweetheart, can you please find it in your heart to forgive me? I've hurt you so much. I know, but I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just want to fix it. Please. We are ready for your physio. That can wait. Oh, sweetheart. I, I, I wish to see you smile with me someday. The exact way I saw you smiling with Alex. I, I want to see you laugh from the depth of my heart. I, I can do anything, everything, to make you smile. Please forgive me. Um, we can't have this conversation right now, my lord. You need to go. We are late for the visit. Kimberly, I am not your lord. Please listen to me. I'm not. Please. Don't, don't call me that. I'm your husband. You are my wife. If I can turn back the hands of time, I will make sure not to hurt you. I regret everything. I will not even try to touch the strand of your hair. Please, please forgive me. Like I said, we are late for the issue. That's all that matters. You will understand. You will understand. You're stepping out? Yes, I'm going for a date. Miriam, I thought she told you. Oh, yeah. Yes, she did. Uh, maybe I should come with you guys. No, you don't have to. We just want to have girls' night out. that I 
I don't, I don't want my wife dressing up like this. Typical example of Max. You don't like me to look good, right? No, no, no that's, not, that's not what I mean. Uh, you look... You look so astonishing. So beautiful. It's, it's unsettling. I, I just feel so bad that I'm not the one taking you out. You've never taken me out before. You're not wearing your ring. What do you mean? You asked me to stop wearing it. If you ain't putting on your ring, how do you expect other men to know you're married? Please, if you don't want me to go out, tell me, let me just go and sit down. No, that's not what I mean. Alright, I have to be on my way now. Um, everything is ready for you. Everything is in your room. I'm out. Hey. Thank you. I can't wait. you haven't taken your calls. Please, I'm not cut out for all this argument. I just came back and I need to rest. You are married to me! You're my wife! You lied! I am not your wife. I am whatever name you choose to call me. For house help or your dime sleeve. Have you forgotten so soon? Would you ever forgive me? Max, you hurt me. I thought you would be my light in my darkness. I thought you would give me reasons to smile and be happy again, but you dashed my hopes. All you gave me was pain, anguish. I can be all you ever want me to be. If you give me the chance. I'm sorry. It is too late. My dreams are different now. I wanted to stay here for a while and rest, but unfortunately you interrupted me. So I have to go. Can't believe it. Can't believe Max? I know you mad at me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Because I know this whole thing's not easy for you. I know you mad at me. I'm sorry. Just completely. She screams at me, at will, as if I'm nothing. I'm you, serious. Are you talking about the Kambili I raised? Exactly. This Kambili is fly. Ah. Oh, my daughter. What are you doing here? Come on, Kambili. At least welcome me. It's been a while. See? I feel like holding hey, you. Please, there will be no need for that. No need for that. So, I'm listening. You said you wanted to talk. Yes, my daughter. I am not your daughter. Have I offended you in any way? I've never been your daughter. So. You can start talking. Come on, Kambili. I raised you single-handedly when no one else would. I'm like your mother, do I didn't give birth to you. I caught me that respect. On that note, I wouldn't want your marriage to be ruined over unforgiveness. 
I know that your husband has hurt you severally. But that doesn't change the fact that he is still your husband. Kambili. My Kambili. Please. I know he's bad. But not too bad. You need to forgive him. Listen. Women go through a lot in marriage. Yours is not an exemption. Come on. Please. Ah. Max. So this is who you brought to speak to me? I... I... Why are you sounding so rude? I didn't raise you like that. You know what's hilarious? You thinking you still have power over me, or my decision. I find it very funny. Now, Mwakego, listen and listen attentively. You do not mean a thing to me. How dare you call me by my name? Oh. Now, listen. I'm no longer that little girl. You beat at will. You match it when you do fit. That girl is dead. This is a new person. You have to be cautious and respect yourself. Else, she won't love the way I will treat you. So this is who you brought to speak to me. Can you? Can, can you? Are you not going too far? Are you serious? She's your aunt for Christ's sake. She ceased to be my aunt the day she sold me to you and your mother. You mean absolutely nothing to me! I don't regard you, not even an art of regards for you. Now listen and listen attentively. Get out. Hmm? And don't ever, in your wildest imagination, step your miserable feet into this compound. Get out of this house! Yes, immediately. Uh, out! And don't overstep your miserable feet! Into this compound. Respect yourself. Why are you looking at me like that? I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Hi, baby. Welcome. Thank you. Mm. I got you some flowers. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Stop. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You'll like them. Sure. You're looking so beautiful. Hmm? Baby. Uh -uh. You so bad, Kimberly. I don't feel the same way. <sighs> Who is he? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you seeing someone else? Are you seeing another man? Can we not have this conversation? What is it? Always running away from conversations. When I wanted us to have this conversation. What did you do? You responded with fist. Sweetheart. Can you... Can you just forgive me? Please. Will you ever forgive yourself? For treating me the way you treated me? There lies the answer. You brought me so much pain. You subjugated me to perpetual pain, agony. Well, I thank God for days and nights that are drawing me closer to the expiration of our marriage contract. Can't wait. 
to leave you alone. Your flowers. I don't need them. I know you mad at me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. Cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you. I know you mad at me, I'm sorry. Forgive me. If you let Cynthia! Cynthia! Yes, ma. Come here. Wait, wait. What is going on? You've not done any house choice. Ma, I'm busy inside the kitchen. You are busy inside the kitchen. And the, here, look at the windows are still closed. By this time of the day. Huh? I'm sorry. All you know how to do is to eat my food. And after that, you're still thin. Get my bag. Okay. Now listen, by the time I return and this place is not tidy, I will skin you alive. I don't know if you know about Kambili. She's nothing like you. You're so, so, so dull. So dull! I hate you! Stand up, please, ma. Move my neck. <laughs> Sarah, please. please help me. Please, please stand up, please. Oh, Where is your phone? Ah. Sorry, ma. Ah. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you so much, my love. I missed you more. Oh, I missed you. So have you have you decided yet? I saw everything. You are seeing Alex. I'm used to it. I don't want to hit you. Brother. I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I love you, Kambili. And I don't want to lose you. How, how could I? All those times I failed to see that you were a treasure. I'm sorry for maltreating you. While I was doing all that, I didn't know I was pushing you to the hands of another man. Please forgive me. Please, I don't want to lose you. It's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you. I hold nothing against you. I can't do this with you anymore. I do not feel a thing for you. Yes, you've never given me a reason to feel a thing for you, Max. Love is like life. You feel it. You nurture it. You grow it. You preserve it. If you don't do all of these things, 
it would definitely die. You killed us. It is not my fault. I'm sorry. I've started the divorce process. Yes, Alex is the one handling it. I will not sign the papers. You have to sign the papers. I will not sign the you divorce papers. You have to papers. sign the divorce papers, Max. That is what you owe me. Do me this little favor. You made my life a living hell for two years. You've been, you've been maltreating me, treating me as if I am not human. I did my own part of the agreement. I fulfilled my obligation. It is even over two years. I didn't leave. I made sure I stayed to be certain you have healed properly. How could you be so heartless? At least if you're human enough, you would know that you owe me one thing, and that is my freedom. I deserve love. I do. I've been through a lot in life. I deserve someone who would show me what true love is all about. I deserve a genuine smile. I deserve a man who will pamper me and treat me like a queen. I deserve to make my own decisions. I deserve freedom, Max. And if you can't give it to me, I will take it. It's okay. It's okay. I have done everything, everything of my strength, everything in me, I understand. Look at me, just take a look at me. A shadow of my, my former self. I, I did everything. Everything to get you back. To right the wrongs. To make you understand that everything I did to you, I regret it. I regret everything. I didn't know what I was doing. while I was maltreating you. Another man was treating you right. I truly don't deserve you anyway. I don't. But if you say, if you say you don't love me anymore, if you say you don't, you don't feel a thing for me, like I do, it's fine. I, I will. I will sign the divorce papers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for realizing that I deserve better. Thank you so much. I've been through a lot already. I deserve happiness. Thank you. Company. Help me, 
will not stand up. I will feed you here. You can have that inside. I'm going to wait for you. Rubbish. Every time you go to do like waiting at. Open your mouth and eat this thing. Oh, open, your, open your mouth. Rubbish. Eh? Which guy? Not be me tell you make your first stroke. Oh. Not be me. Oh. Even for my village, they don't say people where eh? where we, we get this kind of sickness. They're they wicked. Are you, you wicked? Ah! To someone, you wicked though. Eh? No worry. By the time I'm done, Mom, Mrs. Sigaboba. By the time I'm done with you, eh? your mind will touch ground. She be me and you for this house. You go see Shaggy. Don't worry. Open my door, don't waste my time. They trap her like that. They open my door, don't, don't waste my time. Oh. They open my door. You will understand. You will understand. I'm sorry. Only if you give me the chance. I'll make you to understand. Thank you so much, Mr. Max. Alex, please take good care of her. I will. I promise you that. I can't wait to call you my wife. We agreed I'm going to further my education first. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I give up, you win, okay? I cross my heart. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. Thank you for being amazing. <laughs> Stop flattering me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Um, yes, sir. Thank you, Vizayi. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Max. I know you mad at me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive if you let me, I will explain. Maybe you will understand. Everything is gonna be okay. If you give yeah. me I would love to explain to you. Just give me the chance. How are you doing, Max? I'm pushing. Missed her so much. Yeah, I know, right? Well, she just got admission into a very good private university. <laughs> oh. You guys still reach out to each other? Of course. She's my friend. <laughs> she's a whole different person now. I mean, she's happy, full of life. You need to see her. She's absolutely beautiful. Ah. I would have done the same for her anyway. But you didn't, darling. Well, there's always someone else for you. You know that, right? The only other person I ever liked is you. Mm. Oh. Sorry to bust your bubble, darling. <laughs> I'm getting married. Ta -da. <laughs> I just came to give you the good news. Ah, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> 
this is not beautiful. Like he exhausted himself looking for this. Like, <sighs> come on, say congratulations at least. Max. So, there's a lucky dude out there. I'm the only one that lost out in both ways. Foolishly. <laughs> well, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Come on, chill. I just came to give you the good news. <laughs> yes. It's okay. I. Now I understand why you have not been coming around. Oh, don't be a spoil spot. Come on. Well, I'm happy right now. Nothing can do my word. So <laughs> I came to give you the good news. And right about now, mm, I'm off to lunch. Enjoy your day. <laughs> and I will keep in touch this time, I promise. Bye, Max. <laughs> Thank you. 